color is where the conversation begins. And then the material guides it. I've always wanted to do art, just make it. I grew up in a household where my mother was a photographer, but more like an undercover photographer, and she would sell her her prints at you know school fundraiser. And I knew nothing about it until I saw it in people's homes. I'm like, hold on, who are you? We just had art everywhere in our home, and it wasn't very traditional. It was like very loud, abstract, beautiful, vibrant, you know, things that you're not gonna see everywhere. Studio space to me represents the kind of freedom that I want to embody in the world. It is essential to my practice because I know that I'm coming here with a purpose and that can't get lost anywhere for me. And there's no excuse to not do what I love and go after that dream and put it on delay. My work is really iterative and um, this I think is like a, it's a permutation of a, an idea that began as a painting that wasn't quite working in the 2D that became a desire to create something that could stand that then was like, well, hold on, I want it to fly. So I think of these as flying paintings. The, the layering, it's all lending itself into this like choreography of things that come together, but spontaneously. I also don't like the idea of wasting. So um, if in one piece, it is now done and needs to live again. It has been rebirthed into something else. So all of these materials have lived in another place at one point in time or have been deconstructed, and then I'm making them into something new. It's all trial and error. Uh, there's some recycled netting from packaging that's in here. And in, in that piece over there, the same, that fanned out piece was packaging. And I saw it and usually we'll just in our own, you know, autopilot mode, take it, recycle. Oh. No, that's my job. I'm the first stop. Um, so yeah, this is composting. It's all composting. My mom passed when I was 18, my freshman year of college, and it was it was just before that that I decided, okay, I'm not going to pursue our, uh, sports, and I was a really serious volleyball player, and. Uh, she came with me to the National Portfolio Day, and I, I was invited to apply to a few schools, and I remember Cooper Union was one of them, and they said, we'll teach you how to draw, don't worry about it, just apply, we want you to apply. And I walked out, my mom was like, Cicely, you're an artist. So, and she passed a year later. And so I, I think I want, I want, I knew then, after she was gone that I, I wanted to do it seriously for her, for people that I know, for people that came before me, um, because I have to. And then when I had my son, it was like, no, you actually have to live this truth that's in you. Um, you know, if not now, when?